Welcome to the HTML Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. This video is on installing an FTP client. In this video, you'll learn about the tools of the trade, FTP clients and what they're about. We'll talk about the recommended software for FTP. I'll demonstrate installing an FTP client on a Windows-based machine. And then finally, you'll learn about your next steps in order to complete the FTP assignment. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It is a standard that allows a client and a server to talk to each other. FTP clients and servers are two different pieces of software. The difference is quite simple. A client allows the end user, usually a developer or a designer, to place files of all types in directory structure on a web server. An FTP server is software that it must be installed on the server, usually a web server, that listens for and accepts connections from an FTP client. Once the connection is made, the client can be used to move the files, delete files, correct, create directories on the server. Unlike HTML editors, by far the best and most used FTP client is FileZilla. If your HTML editor has a built-in FTP client, and many do, you've got the tools you need. If not, the one you want to use is available for both Mac and Windows is FileZilla. The best link for getting that is https slash slash filezilla dash project dot org slash download dot php question mark show underscore all equals one. You can see it on your screen. Again, FileZilla supports Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration of installing FileZilla. I've already downloaded the installation file, FileZilla 3.101 Win64, because I'm a 64-bit machine setup. Once you've downloaded, all you need to do is double-click. You'll get the warning that says FileZilla FTP Client. Go ahead and click Agree. And I already have it installed, but I'm going to pretend that it's not, so I'm going to go Next. And you'll see it uninstalls and then sets up my new FTP FileZilla Client. It's extremely quick. Once you're done, you click Finish and FileZilla should start up. Let's see if it did. There it is. Okay. Click OK and in another video I'll explain to you about using FileZilla. So what are your next steps? Your next step is to download the needed installation files, install FileZilla, create a screen capture of your FileZilla open, and submit your assignment to your learning management system, which in our case is Canvas. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can email me at mbaker at edcc.edu. Again, thanks.